Hello, Intertubers, and welcome to uh, another episode of me playing Colonization. So I'm going to load where I left off. Oh uh, boy, so many auto saves, but I am the God Emperor, so this is the correct setting. So, one advantage of the downtime, I get to do some thinking. Um, Don't need a dry dock right now. Yeah, what I want to do is build a university, I, a college. I actually can't because uh, I don't have enough stuff. So, that's quite frustrating. Thought I was being clever. I think the reason for this is, if I want to build a college, I need eight people and I only have seven. Let me check. I almost never do this but read the manual. Needs eight people, how annoying! And you need it to teach advanced skills. I mean, blacksmith is an important one. Uh, these other things that the manufacturers that still the weaver, they help too. But really, what I was trying to do is get up to university. University only teaches three things, but this one, the statesman, is so important. It's also ludicrously expensive at Europe. I just wonder, can I move someone here? Because that would let me do it, like... So I just transfer this a farmer over. Make this guy a colonist, and I guess this guy can do more farming. Right, end of turn. Yeah, I should do something about this. Privateers will set sail. No changes. Did this have any cargo? Unload the silver, right. 2520. Hmm. Do I need any of these right now? I'll take the ore miners, actually. And the free colonists. And the fur traders. Cherokee. Hmm. One, two, three. So this, yeah, this is coming back to Roanoke, right? The farmer here goes to Jamestown. I make him farm. I guess that's a fine place to do it. And now I can change this to a college. Dad. So I get Pocahontas next, who will make the Indians happy, so that's good. I'm going to take sort of an edited highlights approach here, because uh, it's mostly just build-up. So that's me failing to move a fur trader to Roanoke. <laughs> trading with the Indians because the price of rum has been destroyed by me trading too much. Ah, yes, Adam Smith. One of the best founding fathers. Uh, 
lets you build factories. Yeah, putting this guy to work, but that's a decent that's a decent number of coats, right? Twenty-four per turn. Problem is gonna be feeding this colony with fur. And now for the good stuff. Yes. <laughs> Sugar planter gets in the right place and he's uh, making 12 sugar when he's on a savannah with sugar. I should plough that. So meet the uh, the other Europeans. What pirates? Now oh, that massive armada of ships, totally not ours. And uh, not going to pay for the shakedown. Even though that means war and an immediate loss of my scout, but you know what? It's only a scout. I've got the college, and I can upgrade to a university. Yeah, this is just a time scale change. And another tasty ship with uh, more stuff to steal. Pirates. It's totally not me. Um, but they keep falling. And eventually we get the university. I would like to train statesmen. But, uh... Oh, I, and I can actually make this silver miner forget how to mine silver. Because the price of that is now like two. And uh, start training my first statesman. I don't, know, we don't really know what to buy here. Maybe that dry dock? So I guess I can pick on this car though. Only damaged it. It's hardly worth doing it since it was empty. But this one at least has cargo. Musket, so oh, that will do nicely. And I finally get Adam Smith. Now, this allows me to build factory buildings, which uh, produce more output than upgraded shops. And I'm not quite sure who to get next. Uh, actually, Thomas Jefferson, yeah, more Liberty Bells makes that um, a fairly easy decision. Oh, and look what we have here, another ship. And I guess we'll take the cotton sunk. So yeah, this is really hurting my enemies having all their ships uh, robbed and sunk like this. And now that I have Adam Smith, why not go for the rum factory? Ah, the enemy have privateers just like me. Well, maybe I can get rid of this one. Well, temporarily. Ooh, and a nice tasty merchant man ready for the plunder of muskets and trade goods. Trade goods are okay, I suppose. Ah, now we have 52% loyalty, so we're starting to see efficiency bonuses at Jamestown. Yeah, we can see here numbers have gone up. Like lots of people are producing 14 rather than the 12 that you'd normally expect from a specialist. Yeah, this guy producing 14 units of rum. Uh, ideally, I need to get more distillers here. Now, I'm going to try something really dirty, which is uh, I'm going to try to sell the muskets to the Indians. And hopefully this will really hurt my enemies. It's not so much about the profit I'm making here. It's the classic English manoeuvre of starting a proxy war and selling arms to uh, one side. Anyway, new colony, uh, Baltimore. This is a fur farm, nothing more. And, uh, yep, statesman production is uh, starting to work. I need more, I need more free colonists to become statesmen, 
Oh, I suppose this guy can work, make him forget how to mine ore. And off we go. Yeah, this one's a little bit awkward. Educate a criminal to an indentured servant. Ooh, the rum factory. So, we're now starting to see much more rum production, or at least we would if we had enough sugar to have the factory running. Armory, I guess. If that guy's a distiller, he makes 20 rum, which is a, a decent amount. Uh, yeah, Rono also making a fur factory. Adam Smith making himself useful. <laughs> More muskets. And yeah, this is the third industry, and uh, I'm going to try to get some weavers um, up there so we're to make cloth. I'm selling the muskets purely to make the Indians more dangerous. And uh, yeah, this silly little caravel. Oh, well, I managed to steal from other pirates. That's quite good. Oh, well, I guess I'll let them have that. So yeah, we finally have some cotton stored at Barbados and two weavers working at flat out to make 24 uh, cloth per turn. And uh, that's pretty good since its price is currently about 20. Uh, this, uh, once you get this, get people educated to indentured servant, you can make them learn stuff from the Indians. <laughs> this is my second attack at this ship. How well am I doing this time? Oh, it, it's fought off both of them. That's so annoying. Alright, well, more statesmen. I guess we can just uh, make another ore miner forget how to mine. Uh, and very soon Jamestown will start exporting statesmen for everybody else. Now, this is a bit risky, but I decide to go for it. And I'm rewarded with horses. Ooh, something. And this, by the way, is, is complete bullshit. Having pirates, you know, hanging out at other people's docks is a, it's unfair and shouldn't be allowed. And now they're stealing back the stuff that I stole. Unfair! Unfair! <laughs> All right, that problem seems to have been solved, at least for the moment. It's very nice to sink an enemy ship. And this guy is going to help tremendously. Liberty Bell is increased by 50% everywhere. Oh, this is a tough choice. Do I want custom houses? Not really. Do I want a frigate? Would be nice, but it's not the best. Uh, I could get that. And all missionaries as experts. Like. I'm not quite sure why I picked that one, but none of them are particularly great. Oh! That privateer killed. But you know, we get another bite at the tree on this one. Another privateer sunk. Nice. Oh no, that's a real problem. We've been invaded, and I'm really not ready for it. It's time to look at what I've got. Like, I think I've got some artillery lying around somewhere. And some veteran soldiers here. Yeah, these guys, I'm holding on to these if I need them, then make them back into a dragoon, so uh, that's worth something. But the enemy has two dragoons hanging around. Uh, 
Knopf's got his undefended, that's bad. Plymouth has one artillery, which I think I need to move south to Penobscot so I'll wake it up. Oh, sorry, not sentry, but uh, clear orders, so that can wake up and now move. And this ship that they landed with needs to go. Crap. Okay, this, uh, this artillery needs to go south too, to try to cover the... Uh, Oh, and we found them. What pirates? They're totally not us. And, well, they're, they're happy to make peace, so... Ah, technicality! Technicality! You're two squares away, so not adjacent. Anyway. I, I think this ought to hold. Like, we're not actually at war yet, so I got, I got a few turns to prepare. save the game and just for fun yeah just for fun instead of exiting I'll retire because they name something after you when you retire which is in this case a fast food chain well could have been worse <laughs> could have been worse yeah and I'll see the war next time